Hi, I'm John Villalobo, Senior Applications Engineer here at RKI Instruments, and welcome to our channel. Today, i like to show you how to turn on the GX6000 instrument, perform an air adjustment, and look at some key features on its front panel. Before we turn the instrument on, let's look at some of those features. First of all, we have a large LCD display. Below that, we have a control panel, which has several buttons on it. Uh, the top button is a air button, which allows us to perform an air adjustment. Also functions as a scroll up button for the menus. And beneath that, we have a shift button, also functions as a down scroll button. Finally, this button functions as a panic alarm button. To the left, we have a display button, which allows you to navigate the display menu, and this button also functions as a lock button. To the right, we have the reset button, which also has a flashlight on it, which allows you to activate the LED flashlight function. At the bottom, we have the large power enter button, which allows you to turn the instrument on and also enter parameters into the unit. Below that, we have the infrared sensor, which allows the unit to communicate with uh, data logging and also uh, allows you to enter parameters into the instrument. Going to the top, we have a large LED alarm light and then large uh, LED alarm lights on the sides, left and right side. Near the top of the alarm light, we also have the LED flashlight. Finally, we have a large rubber overmold case and at the top, we can see the rubber nozzle which allows the gas to come into the unit. To turn the unit on, I'm just going to press and hold down the power enter button. And then release that. The unit goes through a warm up mode. It gives us the uh, days to the next calibration, the time and date, the voltage for the batteries remaining, the gases on board, Next, it shows the full scale, alarms one and two, stellar alarms, TWA alarms. Finally, we get a beep and the unit goes to its normal operation screen. The first thing we want to do is to perform an air adjustment. This zeroes the sensors and takes oxygen to 20.9. We want to do that every time we turn the unit on. And it says to release the air key. To zero adjusted, end. The unit has uh, gone back to its normal display, and now we have our properly zeroed sensors. Let's look at the screen in a little bit more detail. In the upper left corner, we have a flashing heart symbol, which tells us that the microprocessor is working properly. Next to that is the battery icon, which gives us the remaining battery life. Next to that is the time, this being in actually a military format. And then finally to the right, a rotating fan blades or windmill, which tells us that the pump is working fine. We have large numerical values for the different gases on board. We have CH4 methane, O2 oxygen, H2S hydrogen sulfide, CO carbon monoxide, VOCs for volatile organic compounds for our PID instrument. And then in this example, HCN hydrogen cyanide. We can also see some small analog bar graphs next to each gas display. If we look at the oxygen, we can see that the bar graph is halfway up the scale, uh, basically indicating that the oxygen level is 20.9% against a full scale of 40%. Finally, let's turn the instrument off, and we'll do that by pressing and holding down the power enter button. And go ahead and release that. With the unit off, thank you for watching our channel.